welcome everyone to uh, Gunditjmara country, the country that holds our beautiful Budjabin landscape. And thank you for all coming tonight. It's about a celebration after a long, long journey in getting the highest level of protection for a very important place for us. So on behalf of Ros and Sonia, I'd like to say welcome and enjoy the night. We're here to celebrate World Heritage Listing and we're going to ultimately show you that the spirit of our ancestors live on in the blood of our veins. It's been an opportunity for the local community of Gunditjmara people to come together, but also um, supporters of the Gunditjmara people to come and mingle. The highlight was the dancers, seeing all um, my brothers, my family get together in one of the biggest dance groups that we've had since the native title hearing, um, the handback of our, of our country. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. It is clear, uh, I would like to approve the document in whole and therefore I declare draft decision 43 com 8b.14 adopted as amended. Our congratulations on behalf of the committee members to the Honourable State Party for the inscription of this site and I'm giving floor to the State Party. Australia, you're welcome. Uh, wow, what an experience, Mr Chairman. Um, here we are, surrounded by Gunditjmara traditional owners. In the deep time Indigenous people have inhabit, inhabited Australia, a day is but a flicker in history. But today burns bright and will be remembered as we inscribe Australia's first World Heritage property exclusively for its Indigenous cultural values. It is a symbol of and a step towards the healing of our history. The Bajbim cultural landscape is the ingenious creation of the Gunditjmara people. This is their nomination. I present Dennis Rose, Gunditjmara traditional owner, to speak on behalf of the Gunditjmara people. Thank you, I'd like to uh, thank the uh the committee and the centre uh, to, for us to get to this stage. It's been a long, long journey. I'd uh, like to acknowledge our Gunditjmara ancestors who have led the way for us. Uh, we know that they're still here with us uh, and uh, the, uh, their, their ingenuity still shows in the uh, aquaculture systems that are still operational to this day. But most importantly, it's the people behind me that, that lead the way. Uh, we've got a lot of young people here talking about management before of a few of our Budgebim Rangers. Uh, I know that looking after this country and sharing this country is in safe and great hands with our community. Thank you. Thank you Uncle Ken. Thank you Meg and thank you Maya. <laughs> My name is Chris Saunders, for those who don't know. Um, I was born here on Gunditjmara country and tonight we're here celebrating um, the World Heritage listing and specifically um, the Budjabim landscape being enlisted as the 101st enlistee in the UNESCO World Heritage listing. So another round of applause for Gunditjmara people. <laughs> I'd now like to introduce Mark Olive and the catering team to tell you about tonight's feed. Look, tonight you're in for a bit of a feast. Um, it's going to be a grazing uh, night. There is stuff at the back at the moment, kangaroo tails, they are local. So <laughs> Um, they've been seasoned and they've been cooked for hours. Uh, we've got local eel too. We've um, docked it up as well. But look, I travel with my sous chef, James. I'd like James just to say a couple of hey words. Guys. How you going? Thank you, thank you for letting me be a part of this. Um, I was watching that live feed before and it was uh, really touching. It's uh, amazing what you've done here. You should be proud of yourself and thank you so much for letting me be a part of it. Hey. 
So on that note, guys, I hope you have a great night tonight. Enjoy the rest of the night and come and have a yarn later. Tonight's just been wonderful. We've had um, wonderful food, wonderful entertainment, wonderful um, coming together and, and just to celebrate. Yeah, so that's been the best thing about it. All the hard work's been done. Um, everyone's been acknowledged for their contribution and tonight was about celebrating that and I think it's been a wonderful night. Oh look, it's, it's, it really is a celebration tonight it's a, and it's a thank you for a lot of our supporters. Um, we've had great support over many years and I, I've mentioned before that we couldn't do this by ourselves. We don't have the, the expertise or the resources to do it all. So we've had to rely on a lot of partners. We have good, solid, robust partnerships we also work in the spirit of cooperation. Politicians of, of, of either side, I uh, see them all ch chatting to each other at the moment very amicably. So uh, it, it really is uh, just, it's really uplifting, I suppose. So, uh, it gives me great hope for the future. I know that uh, what we've achieved so far is, is a, a, a bit more than a start, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And uh, I'm sure that we're in great hands to uh, continue that work on. I enjoyed watching the replay. I mean, I was there in Azerbaijan, and it's such a situation that you, you're really not aware. I mean, you're too busy listening to what's around you and not um, exactly what's happening. So tonight, listening to it again, it was absolutely brilliant. The quality of the application, uh, which was written for us by some very, very talented people, it's brilliant. And because we were over there, we couldn't celebrate with our people back home, so this time we are. I have to say to you that my, my heart uh, swelled with pride when Tim Kanoa, who I have the privilege of working with, when he commenced the dance tonight, said, our spirit lives on in the blood in our veins. The final delivery of World Heritage Recognition is something that the Gundich Mara people totally deserve. We should all be proud. We should all share in that glory. And, and I congratulate every single member of the community who's fought so long and hard to make that happen. The Victorian Government is so proud of our association. It has brought out the best in the Commonwealth Government in relation to the support of this. Dan, have no doubt about it. The work that the Commonwealth did in relation to supporting this to get it there is something that we should all be so proud that we've collectively got together. Jacqueline Symes, who, um, who is my absolute fantastic colleague in the Victorian Government, is so, so appreciative of what she has seen, the welcome that she's received from the Aboriginal community, and we want to give back in spades. Anything that we can do to actually work together in the future, we look forward to. And tonight, you have every reason to celebrate, and all of Victoria, all of this nation should be so proud of what you've achieved and the recognition that World Heritage has given you because you well and truly deserve it. Thank you very much for this opportunity to say those things to you because you are so, so precious to this community. Thank you. This is a bit impromptu, but look, I just like to, I suppose, reiterate what I said on the, on the video on the big screen there earlier on, that this is, tonight's really a recognition of the great partners and partnerships that we've had, long-standing partnerships. It's been really important to, well, to the World Heritage nomination, uh, but also to the good management of country, which is the most important thing. So thank you all. Lastly, I'd like to say thank you to the Gunnismara people for being with us here tonight. Um, thank you to all our guests that have joined us on Country. Um, once again, I'm Chris Saunders and I hope you had a lovely night. Thank you.